Hey everyone, so I was requested to do a review on MAC's All That Glitters Eyeshadow and I thought if I just did a review on that it may be a little bit boring and it would be a very very short video so instead I'm going to combine that into my what I suggest you buy from MAC as your first purchase. I haven't been buying from MAC for very long, it's only been about a year or so and what I'm going to show you is one of the first things that I bought from MAC and they are their eyeshadows. And if you're not a fan of eyeshadows, don't feel like you have to go out and buy this just because I say. If you're more of a lip gloss person or a blush person, then by all means go and get those as your first purchases from MAC. You know, just go into any MAC store and just want ask one of the MAC artists for some help. You know, explain what sort of colour you're looking for, if you want something that's quite dramatic or more toned down and natural looking. You know, just explain it to them and they'll be more than happy to help you find a perfect colour for you. But in my experience, I've found that MAC's eyeshadows are the most popular items that they do and they have such a range of different colours and different finishes of eyeshadows there's so many different options to choose from so when you first go in there it's a little bit overwhelming to see all of these eyeshadows lined up and try and figure out which ones you should buy so this recommendation is based off of my own experience I love eyeshadows and I'm more of a neutral girl so as you can see these colours are neutral. Um, what I suggest you do is you go and buy one of these £4 palettes and these are £6.50 and they just look like this and I suggest you fill it with four of MAC's eyeshadows. And the ones I've got in here are the ones that I'm going to be recommending. So they are Naked Lunch, All That Glitters, Woodwinked and Satin Taupe. And these are for beautiful, beautiful colours. And what's great about these is you can wear each one individually on its own, just all over the lid as a very quick look. Or you can do any number of combinations, like I like to do Naked Lunch on the lid with a little bit of Woodwinked on the outer corner. Or I'll do All That Glitters all over the lid with Satin Taupe in the crease. So you can do lots of different combinations using this. Or you can use all four of them together to create a look, which is what I'm wearing today. And I'm going to show you how to get this in a minute. But I just want to talk about these colours a little bit first. So I'll get a bit closer so you can see the different colours. So just for your reference, eyeshadows from MAC are £11.50 in the pot form or £9.50 in the pan form, which is what these are. And we'll start with Naked Lunch. This is a frost eyeshadow and MAC describes it as a minimal pink with shimmer and I'll do swatches for you. The next one is All That Glitters. This is a Philux Pearl and MAC describes it as a beige with gold pearl. This is such a pretty colour. This is one of my absolute favourites. This was the very first shadow that I bought from MAC. And I bought it off of um, All That Glitters 21's recommendation, which is where she takes her name from. It's just so pretty. This one is Woodwinked and this is also a Philux Pearl. And MAC describes it as a warm antiqued gold. This is another one of my absolute favourites. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous gold colour. It really makes my blue eyes pop when I wear this. I love wearing this just all over the lid as a very quick look. And the last one is Satin Taupe. And this is another frost. And MAC describes it as a taupe brown with silvery bronze shimmer. So this is them swatched on my hand. There's Naked Lunch. All that glitters, woodwinked and satin taupe, if you can see that. And as you can see, they're very shimmery, very, very gorgeous, pretty colours. And like I said, you can use these individually on their own, all over the lid, or you can use them in any number of combinations to get different looks. So you can make so many different looks just using this one palette, and it's amazing. Um, like I said, these two colours here are my absolute favourites. Absolutely in love with them. So Naked Lunch is more of a tan with a pink undertone and obviously shimmer. All That Glitters is more of a true tan colour, slightly pink undertone, very shimmery, very, very pretty. Uh, I think this is a colour that looks good on a lot of different skin tones, so no matter what skin tone you've got, this colour will probably look, work really well for you. Woodwinked is the most gorgeous gold colour. Like Max says, it's an antiqued warm gold colour. And like I said, this works so well with brown eyes, it really makes them pop because it's got that sort of orangey tinge to it. And Satin Taupe, again, very beautiful colour. It's a... 
it has a silvery undertone to it, so it's more of a cool brown. So depending on your skin tone, you may prefer to go with something more like mulch, which I've got, and I'll compare the two. So this is satin taupe and this is mulch. As you can see, it's just a slightly darker, warmer brown. So like I said, depending on your skin tone, you may prefer that, but these are such gorgeous colours. I love all of them. And like I said, I I use each of these individually on their own, just all over the lid as a very quick look, depending on what I'm doing. If I want something darker, if I'm going out to the cinema or something and I haven't got a lot of time to get ready, I can just put satin taupe all over the lid and it looks gorgeous. Or I like to do, like I said, Naked Lunch and Woodwinked and do Naked Lunch on the lid with Woodwinked on the outer corner. That looks very, very pretty. It's a very natural, slightly shimmery look, which is perfect for school or work, or if you're just having a casual day, or if you don't have much time to get ready, or you don't want anything that looks too dramatic. That is absolutely perfect. I love doing that a lot. Or again, you could do All That Glitters and Satin Taupe in the crease, and that looks beautiful as well. So that's what I suggest you get from MAC. Obviously, if you prefer colours, then go with colours. If you don't like eye eyeshadows, then just buy whatever you prefer. Just go in and ask the MAC artists and they'll be more than happy to help you out. But if you like neutrals and you like slightly shimmery colours like I do, these are what I suggest you get. Um, otherwise, just get a light, sort of slightly skin toned colour for your highlight, a light colour, a slightly darker colour and a darker colour for the crease. And you can apply them in the exact same way that I'm going to show you in a minute to get this look. And for the price of four eyeshadows, you can get so many different looks out of this. Such pretty colours. They're easy colours to wear for school or for work. They're not too dramatic. So if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your lids, just like always, and then we're going to be taking this first colour, Naked Lunch, a pencil brush, this is the Sigma E30, just get a little bit on the brush, tap off the excess, and just going to apply this just to the inner corner. Next, taking a flat shader brush, this is the Sigma E55, and taking all that glitters, just going to pack that onto the brush, tap off the excess, and this is going to go all over the lids up to the crease. Once you have that on, flip the brush over and take a little bit of Woodwinked, tap off the extra, and you'll want to apply this to the outer corner and up into the crease a little bit. Just patting it on and then turn the brush sideways and drag that colour into the crease. Once you have that on, take a brush like this one, this is Sigma's uh, SS217, pick up a little bit of satin taupe, tap off the extra, and you want to apply this just to the very outer corner and into the inner crease. Once you have that on, pick up a little bit more of Satin Taupe with an angled eyeliner brush. This is Sigma's E65. And you just want to line the outer third of your lower lash line. Next pick up a blending brush, this is Sigma's E40. Take a little bit of Naked Lunch and you want to apply this just under your brows as a highlight. And then you want to blend down, blending out that harsh line. 
So that's it for the eyeshadows. All that's left to do is to line your upper lash line with a brown eyeliner. I'm using Gosh's Velvet Touch Eyeliner in Truly Brown. And apply your mascara. I'm using Maybelline's One by One Mascara in Black. So I'm going to go do that. So that's the finished look. I'll get a bit closer so you can see it a bit better. So I hope you liked it. As you can see, it's a very quick, easy tutorial, easy look to do, and it looks it's a look that you can wear to school or to work or just every day. It's a really nice, easy look to do. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you have any other requests, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!